As you guys can see, this specific campaign spent about $351. It's getting CPA around $10, which is pretty good. CPC is 29 cents and he got 35 sales on this specific campaign. What's up, beautiful people? It's Nas here. Thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the absolute lowest budget strategy that you could start uh, testing on TikTok ads. So I get a lot of questions. What's your go-to uh, method? I personally don't do lowest cost just because I want to figure out if the product is winning, uh, winning or not right away. I don't want to give it like crazy amount of time, but I know a lot of you guys are on budget and you want to make sure that you're not spending or wasting a lot of money on ads. I've talked to people that spent thousands of dollars on one or two products without getting any results. So this kind of clarifies everything. If you want to go absolute lowest way of finding a winning product, keep watching. Also, I have all these information that I'm going to talk about in a Google doc. If you want me to give it to you, make sure you like this video and comment down below. What do you want me to talk about on the next video? Once this video gets 500 likes, I'm going to put it in a bio down below. So you have all the information. You can literally follow it step by step and, um, you know, uh, set it up, set up your own ads and test your own products for really, really cheap. All right. So let's get into it. First of all, let's talk about set up the, set of setting up the ad groups and all that stuff, right? So ad group is very similar. If you're coming from Facebook, ad group is very similar to ad set in Facebook platform. Ads that are run on TikTok ads manager, they have three parts. If you're new here, I'm gonna explain all those things. Uh, we have campaigns, we have ad groups, and then we have ads. A campaign can include one or more ad groups. After creating the campaign, you will need you will need to set up your ad groups inside, and then you'll add your ads. I'm gonna explain all that stuff. I just put it out there just in case you guys are absolutely new and you have no idea what TikTok ads are. I'm gonna explain everything. All right. Uh, before we get started, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of clarify. This is just testing with manual bidding. It's a little frustrating because it cannot. Sometimes it doesn't spend your money, and you have to run the ads for multiple days till you figure out if the product is a winning product or not. But on a good note, uh, it saves you a lot of money because you you're if you're not running lowest cost, when you're running lowest cost, it literally spends your money real quick, which I personally like to do just because I like to test fast. Um, and find out if a product is winning product or not. It takes me literally a couple hours to find out if a product is a winning product or not. But like I said, um, not everybody comes in and they're like, oh, I'm going to spend thousands of dollars on ads. And this is the best way to go about it. The, re the thing is, when you do manual betting, you're technically telling TikTok, I want you to get me sales for the amount of bid. Like, let's say if you put your amount, your target uh, CPA is 10 or your bid number is 10, you want TikTok to get you sales for under $10. If it can do that, if the TikTok platform is not able to give you cheap sales, it's not going to spend your money. That makes sense. Now, that being said, it, that can also be frustrating for a lot of people. Uh, and just crazy because that's that was the first method that I was testing and I talked about it and I would get so many messages about people reaching out, telling me that their ads are not spending. It, it happens, you know, even with lowest cost, it happens, but this is specifically, it can not, not spend your money. All right. Now let's get into it. Let me tell you exactly how I set up my campaigns, my ad groups and everything. First of all, if you know me, I like to test with three to four creatives. I don't like to just have one creative. I like to give the product, uh, I, the best chances of winning. I we even sometimes test with 10 creatives. And then, uh, if you have a winning product, maybe two or three of those videos become a winning, uh, creative. Uh, a lot of people believe in winning products. I believe in winning creatives. I know I say winning product, but technically you need the right creative for the right product to become a winning product. You know what I mean? All right. And I like to create uh, four to six ad groups. Honestly, I, I personally do minimum six, but if you're just getting started and it's confusing for you, start with four. I like to do six. Sometimes I actually just do 10 and then kind of play around with the bit, bit amount. Uh, location, uh, I do US and Canada. Sometimes I test these dip separately. I actually uh, had a product. I never, I, I used to test them separately in the beginning, but then I kind of stopped and did them together. And now again, I test them separately because I noticed some products actually sell much better in Canada and some products do much better in US and the data is just completely different when I test them differently. So it's kind of up to you. Uh, that doesn't mean that it's going to be a winning product. If you just, if you test it separately, most of the time, this is just to, to bring down your CPA. Uh, I put the budget for $40. Don't freak out. We're not spending $40 in each ad group. Uh, the reason, like I said, I, we want to have the budget high enough for TikTok to want it to spend. 
uh, and bid again low and high enough to want it to spend. Uh, bid the target cost per purchase or action or whatever you want to call it. Um, that's what it is. I like to start from eight dollars. Let's say the the cheaper the product is, you want to have it as low as possible. Does that make sense? And then I, let's say after a day is not spending. And I'm, I'm, that's why I said it's a little bit frustrating because it might not spend any money. Technically you're not spending any money. You're just putting work in, right? That's why it's such a low, uh, budget strategy for, uh, for testing TikTok ads. And what are you going to do after if 24 hours, if it's not spending and you're going to go and up it by $2. So you're going to go from eight to $10. And let's say it's not spending. Now we go to 12. The maximum I would go is $16. And I would just not, uh, if it's not spending or if it's not getting any result, if it spends, it's not getting any sales, I would shut it off. It most likely that product is not a winning product. So with bid testing, you have to find the sweet spot when setting your bid. So it's like that sweet spot that you have to find. That's again, why I said it can be a little bit frustrating for some people. Um, you know, I call this a winning bid. Uh, you want to find the bid sweet spot. I'm going to show you right after this, my own ad accounts that, that how I set up my, you know, manual biddings, uh, with TikTok, uh, we need to split test the bid amount. So sometimes some of the ad groups, um, I, let's say I've set at eight, some of them I do at 10, some of them I, I do at 12. As long as I know that if it gets sales under $12, I stay profitable. I honestly set up different bids, right? But you could start at eight with all of them if you're scared and then slowly increase it. So basically we want our bid to be as low as possible when it still spends because TikTok is forced to keep your sales, uh, your CPA uh, under that bid amount, if that makes sense. If your bid is too small, it won't spend the money. If it's too big, it will spend your money too fast, okay? So let's get back onto my ad account accounts. I'm gonna show you, this is one of my campaign. I already opened it. Uh, this is just one campaign that I've had um, uh, we spent $351 on this one. The CPC is 29, um, cents, which is pretty good. CPC, you know, is cost per click. We want it to be as lo uh, lower than $1 and the CPA is $10, which is makes making this product very profitable. And you guys can see that some of them are now spending some, that's what, another thing, even if you have the same amount of bid, some of them would spend, some of them would not spend. That's why I like to have a lot of ad groups and whatever that is spends, I know that it's going to be profitable. Uh, let's look at some of this stuff. Um, since I have this manually set up, it doesn't track my, um, what is it called? ROAS in here. I have another way of calculating it since I have other data. Um, we're going to scroll to the right. One thing that happens with bid though, because you get really, really cheap, uh, clicks, you're going to have really bad conversion rates. Like people always ask me, are you profitable? Because your convert, your conversion rate is just bad. I don't know. Like it's just, that's what happens with manual bidding, but it doesn't matter because you're profitable. So who cares if your conversion rate is like 1% or half a percent, you're profitable. You know, we're getting $10 costs, um, uh, per acquisition and that's all that matters. So CPM here, look at the CPM, look at these beautiful CPM. So I have the same product set up at the lowest cost and the lowest cost is actually $10 for the CPM. CPM is cost per thousand impressions. And here you see it, the average is 315. It's pretty good. The CTR is 107. So this is dropping because it was dying at that point. Usually, usually I, t I know I tell everybody, all my students and everyone aim for 1.5 and higher. That's usually in the beginning of the winning product. Usually after a while it just drops. Okay. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, so let's take a look at this. Um, the ones that are getting sales. So we, we 12 and 13 were the sweet spot for this product. I started from eight. Whenever it is in the peak of the product selling, usually that if you set it low, it would still spend. And you notice after a week or two, it would just not spend anymore. You have to kind of increase the bit, bit a little bit. So we went to 12 and $13. So what, what we started with, and I like to have the budget really, really high. You see 240, 240, even though it's not spending all the budget, but whatever that is spending is staying profitable. If that makes sense. All right, let's create a new campaign. I'm going to walk you through exactly what I do. Uh, we're always, always, if your ad account is warmed up and spending money and is healthy and all that stuff, uh, we're going to always do can conversion for complete payment. Uh, we're going to do campaign name. We're going to call it, I don't know, baby shoe. All right, cool. Um, and then we're going to go continue. Uh, I like to do no targeting for all my ad groups. Uh, if you don't know why I do this, go watch my other videos. I do no targeting for everything. Honestly, it's going to get you better results. It always performs much better than if you get do any targeting. So that's what I do. Uh, we're always, always, always going to do uh, purchase, not purchase. We're not on Facebook. Uh, we're always do complete payment. 
complete payment, optimizing for complete payment. So we're gonna do complete payment. Cool, we're gonna scroll down. Um, this doesn't really matter, but I like to do TikTok. I, there were a couple times that I forgot to set it up as, as, uh, as TikTok and I left it automatic. It doesn't make any difference in your results, so I don't really care. I like to automate it creative unless you're doing Sparks ads. It won't let you do uh, automatic payments. Like I said, sometimes I separate Canada and the United States, but in this case, I'm not gonna separate them. I'm gonna put them together. Uh, I like to do 18 and over. For a while, I used to do 25, but now I do 18. I don't really care about this. Sometimes I put English, sometimes I don't. It doesn't make any difference. So I'm lazy and I'm gonna leave it alone like that. Um, sometimes again, I turn this on, sometimes I don't. It does not make any difference in my results. The reason I say that, I like to just kind of throw it out there. Do you do this? Do you do this? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It doesn't make any difference in my results. The things that make a difference is your amount of bid, your creatives, your products, all that stuff. So let's set this for $40 and, um, so when I'm doing manual bidding, I don't really care about the schedule time. When I'm doing lowest cost, definitely I set up for midnight. The reason I don't care about this one because with manual bidding is not about the time of the setup, it's more about like it would still spend your, it doesn't spend your money no matter what time of the day if it can't get you the results that you want. You know what I mean? So then I don't really care. I just like, if it's one o'clock, I'll just run it. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna go to cost cap and you don't care about this one. Don't worry. Like a lot of you guys probably won't gonna get 50, 60. Some people get 100, don't, doesn't matter. Let's for, start from $8, like I said. This is the cost cap. This is where you put your bid amounts. We're gonna put it in there, okay? And then we're gonna go next. All right, so this is the last page. Uh, so we're here, the first thing that you see, use TikTok ad account to deliver Sparks ads. That's if you wanna run at Sparks ads, um, you can run Sparks ads if your automated creative is on, which I turned on, but I'm not planning to run Sparks ads right now. We are gonna go upload all your creatives at once, right? It's gonna be, like, don't get confused. Like, do four. I like to do four, but that budget $40, I would do probably four or five. Um, if I'm doing more creatives, I'm gonna have higher budget, okay? This is something that, um, you know, people in the mastermind that I myself in, uh, that people doing $100,000 a day on TikTok, uh, say they do, the higher the budget, the more creatives you can put in there, okay? And what I like to do with the ads is um, the text on the ad. I like to talk about, let's say, the, from the person that is in the video because TikTok contents are completely different than Facebook. I like to talk like I I am like using that product. Like if a person is in the, pro in the video and be like, oh, these are the best curls I've ever got. Or like, let's say, for example, if it's a, you know, hair curler or or my baby loves these shoes or something like that. You know what I mean? I don't stress about it that much. Honestly, it doesn't really make that much of a difference in your results. Then I'm gonna put the link in there and submit it. Now, I'm gonna go create, um, like I said, we want four to six. After it's submitted and everything, we're gonna go duplicate the ad group. I'm not creating an ad right now, so I'm not gonna really, you know, submit and everything. Uh, but after this is created, you're gonna go to your campaign, inside your campaign, copy your ad group, to uh, let's say three, four, duplicate them three, four times. And then whenever you submitted everything and it's created, I'll change the bits. So you can keep it at eight and let all of them run for a day, see uh, if it spends, or you can just do eight and some of them $10, some of them $12. That's like my preferred method just because I can't wait. Like I just, it's just the waiting game really makes me crazy, but just to keep in mind that if your bid is a little too high, I don't, I would never ever go higher than $16. So if it bid, if the bid is too high, you can spend your money pretty quick. So you gotta keep an eye on your account, but most likely you're safe about around eight to $12 is safe. Um, country to country is different. Uh, this is only for us and Canada. There was one time that I set this up for, um, UK and Australia, and I was not paying attention at all blew through like $3,000 in three hours. It's just kind of crazy. I didn't know the bids, the, the bid amount is completely different when you go to a different country. So make sure that this is, this is only for us and Canada. And then obviously after like 24 hours, check them. If it's not spending money, increase your bid. This is literally the cheapest way to go about it. You can go get to $16 and you might spend like a couple dollars. You check for your CPC. If it's too high, kill it. If it's, um, if your um, CPM is too high, kill that one. If your CTR is not good, kill that one too. So this is literally the cheapest way you can test with honestly $10, $20. Um, if your ad account is not spending and your bid is at $16, the product is not good enough. I promise that product would not be a winning product. Every time I have a winning product using the lowest uh, strategy, I always put it in a manual bidding. And most of the time, most of the time, 99% of the time, it would spend 
uh, when I'm doing manual bidding between 10 to $12. So if your bid is $16 and it's still not spending the money, that product is not a winning product. Here's literally the cheapest way to test any products. So you're welcome. If you guys are enjoying these kind of videos, don't forget to give this video a like. Also, I have a couple spots available in my weekly mastermind. Um, I do weekly mastermind inside a private, you know, group. We get together every week and we talk about Facebook ads, TikTok ads, um, product research, all that good stuff, all that stuff. If you guys are interested, go ahead and DM me on my Instagram, the word mastermind, and, um, you know, we'll reach out, see if you're qualified and, um, we'll go from there. Don't forget to like and